Hello, and welcome to the Intermittent Fasting Gems with Jen podcast. I'm your host, Jen, a middle-aged Michigan mama, wife, and teacher who in 2021 stumbled upon this crazy cool thing called intermittent fasting. And before I knew it, I'd lost 46 pounds in four months and gained an incredible lifestyle filled with complete food freedom. If you're hungry for unique, no-nonsense fasting tips that actually work, you're in the right place. So whether you're walking the dog, folding that last load of laundry, or cruising to your nine to five, let's start fasting our way to freedom together. Today we are chatting with Danielle Frankel from Los Angeles. So, oh my goodness, we are literally across the country from each other, Michigan to California, which I think is one of the coolest things about the internet. Hi, Danielle. How are you today? Hello. Hey, so Danielle, we found out right before we started this recording, we're actually the same age. Well, Danielle's three months younger than I am, but Danielle is an actress and a production accountant in Los Angeles. And Danielle and I have actually never met in person. I think Danielle originally found me on Pinterest and we connected that way. Is that right, Danielle? Yes. Awesome. So since then, she has joined our supportive So What If with Jen Fa- uh, Fasting Facebook group. And I do want to take a minute to thank Danielle for being a total rock star member of our group because she's been so active and such a supportive member. Danielle, you've given so much great advice and you shared so many awesome, helpful tips with our members that uh, that's really helped them out a ton. And so I really want to thank you again for that. So Welcome, Danielle. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Let's have some serious fun today. I'm ready to ready to rock and roll. So, all right. I would like to start off by asking you, Danielle, what have been your top three wins with intermittent fasting? And, and that can be, you know, weight loss or any non-scale victories, improved sleep. Go ahead, Danielle. Well, I... I would say my top three wins that I could think of is one, finally getting to my goal weight. For years, I could not get to my goal weight. I would have some weight loss, but then eventually I would like fall off and then get to my goal weight. And that really gave me a lot of relief and and happiness. And it was nice to fit into you know, all my clothes in my closet. Uh, So that's one, I would say that's one and two, the weight loss and um, getting to my goal weight. Um, And then also, you know, mentioning our age at 48 years old, I was able to get into the top seven to be on the cover of Hers Fitness magazine. And I just got so much oh, love I'm and support. So, so excited that you mentioned that. Would you say that one more time? That's so cool. Say it again. Yeah. So there is a competition every year for the HERS Fitness Magazine. And I mm-hmm. applied for it. And I ended up getting into spot number seven. That is incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, I didn't want to cut you off. So if you are keep going with your wins, so that's amazing. So you hit your, your goal weight. And I, I can definitely relate to that being a huge struggle for myself for two whole decades. And uh, I, I couldn't believe when I actually, my goal weight actually kept changing because I kept losing more and more weight, where, which eventually I ended up being lower than my high school weight, which I, I never even thought possible. So yeah, it's really amazing. And yeah, that that really had been something. Another thing that happened too is the, the flexibility with fasting. So during the time that I started this fasting program uh, were the holidays. And I had okay. tons of parties, um, you know, Thanksgiving. And then I had a lot of holiday parties this year. And I went to all of them. And what I would do is I would just do like um, OMAD, which is one meal a day. And I would do like 20, I usually like to do 23 to 24 hour fasts. And I just allowed myself to have everything I wanted. 
So, you know, uh, the cakes, the cookies, um, you know, all this stuff to in, indulge during the holidays. And I just said to myself, you know what? I'm just going to continue with my workouts. I'm going to continue with my supplements, um, my hydration goal. So I try to drink about a half a gallon of water a day. And, and I said, in terms of whatever I eat, I'm just going to allow myself to have everything I want. And what ended up resulting from that is I just maintained my weight. Well, during the holidays, that's a, that's a goal in itself for sure. Yes. And it, it was really exciting for me to be able to have, um, that flexibility and Mm -hmm. to be able to kind of have whatever I wanted and And not uh, feel like you're deprived. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's why I really love the idea, um, of I've, one of the top books that I love to read and I've actually, listen to it over and over again to stay motivated because I I do about an hour walking a day usually and on okay. those walks I'll usually listen to you know something motivating something that you know keeps my mindset positive uh, so I've listened to the Jen Stevens uh, fast feast repeat That's and a great I'll, podcast. And also the, you know, I think the title is Don't Deny, Delay. Yeah, maybe it is just, is it just Delay, Don't Deny or? Let, let's let look it up because I don't know why I'm blanking right now on the, but they're so yeah. good. I, anyone yeah. who, who wants to start a journey of fasting, I highly recommend, um, I think your first book was, um, okay, so delay, don't deny. So that was Jen yeah. Stevens' first book. It's not on yes. audio, um, but you, but in LA, you, you could can. get it from the public library, which is great. You could get it on mm-hmm. on Amazon. And yeah. so um, delay, don't deny. And then the other one, of course, is um, fast feast repeat. Fast feast repeat. I read that one first and, okay. or I listened to it. I listened to it on audiobook, and I would just listen to it while I was working out. And I had never heard of the clean fasting before. Oh yeah. And that's, it's actually not, so Jen Stevens actually did coin the term clean fasting, but she actually didn't mention that or Um, start that until after her first book, which was Delay, Don't Deny. So it's kind of, some people say they like to read Fast Feast Repeat first. I read Delay, Don't Deny first, and I'm actually really glad that I did because it was so simple. And that's like the teacher, elementary teacher mindset in me. And so I related to Jin, her being a teacher as well. And so I was glad because then it does, the Fast Feast Repeat is an excellent book, but it also goes way more into the science and it's it's just a little bit bumped up a bit and so i i liked the the dumbed down version because i was like ooh, i totally get that you know so that was a great book for me to start with but yeah great and she does she has i that's how i lost the weight so quickly and was so motivated was listening to those podcasts and we sound very similar and when i am on a walk i am listening to something motivational or you know self help or improvement i just get so much peace from from doing that and and you're right listening to those motivating and inspiring stories and those tips it's huge you know it will keep you on the right track so so danielle i think i heard you say your preferred intermittent fasting method is OMAD or do you do a hybrid? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I do mostly um, 23, 23, one and 24 hours. And then every okay. once in a while I'll, I'll do like a longer fast. Maybe I'll do 36 hours or um, the longest fast I did so far is 72 hours. Yes. Yeah. How, um, how did you feel in with that? Give us, I, I've done a few. My longest is actually, I did 192 hour, which wow. it was crazy. I'll do a whole, 
maybe podcast episode on that sometime, but I've only done that once, but I have done a few 72s and I feel great after, but tell us what were your kind of, uh, what, what was your experience with that? Um, well, I, I had to build up to this. So Good. I'm glad you said that. That's huge. That I've, that I've learned in my fasting journey is that it's important. It's just as important what I'm doing in my eating window and what I'm doing in my fasting window. Perfect. So yeah. I, I really make sure during my eating window, I eat a, a very um, high fat ketogenic diet. So what that means is, yeah, right before I start fasting and especially a long fast, I make sure to do like 90 to 100% of my calories coming from fat. Healthy fats, yes. Like, like give us an example of so, what that would be. Um, like coconut <laughs> oil or... <laughs> This is oh, okay. This I is love so interesting. One of my favorite things to do. I have two. Two of my favorite things to do is one is like eating like an entire pack of bacon. Oh, oh, you are serious? Yes. Keto then like okay. like literally eating like a total pack of bacon is great. Even though that's more like seventy percent fat. If you're going to eat a whole bat, um. And because for whatever, because before I, you know, I came from being able to maintain my weight. I never quite got to my goal weight, but I stayed very, very close to it on kind of okay. like a bodybuilding diet. But I did that in my 30s and mm -hmm. um, I was hungry all the time. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's and, um, and so that was more of a, a, a high protein, low fat diet, moderate carb. But what I found okay. is if I wanted okay. to fast, that was impossible coming from a low fat diet. And yeah. my fiance kept telling me, he said, it will be so much healthier for you to do a high fat diet and fast. And he said, you know, especially, he says it's anti-aging. He said, you'll be leaner and you'll be less hungry. Because remember, oh, he, <laughs> when you date someone and they're hungry all the time, and he's been following like a ketogenic, <laughs> he's been fasting okay. for years. Okay. He looks like. Oh, he has. Okay. Oh, he's in incredible shape. You know, like. Marvel wow. superhero kind of shape. And, um, and he's been eating one meal a day for many years, like 20 years. Okay. And, but wow, then when we were fabulous. dating, he had to deal with me being hungry all the time. And <laughs> so he, he needed to figure out a way to fix it fast. <laughs> and he, and, and I mean, we're engaged. We want to grow old together in a perfect world. And he started to teach me about this new paradigm, this shift from kind of like, you know, the bro science bodybuilding diet where you eat six meals a day. And like I said, very low fat. He said, you've got to try this. And then, of course, I was persuaded by like Halle Berry does fasting and she and I'm 48. So, of course, I'm interested in all sure. these women who are over and you live in California. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I'm an actor, so it's part of my it's part of my career to look good on red carpets. Uh, that was For one sure. of my wins too, to see myself in pictures and love the way I looked again. That mm -hmm. really felt so good. Um, so, like people like Halle Berry, she follows fasting and ketogenic. Jennifer um, Aniston, um, Jennifer yeah, Aniston, so, and yeah. you know they're in their mid fifties. Um, mm -hmm. I think Hallie now is like fifty seven, and they look so young. And I was like, you know, I should really give this a shot. And it was um, Torkel, that's my fiance. He was the one who said to me, you know, eat a whole pack of bacon. He's like, 
eat a ribeye <laughs> steak with butter. Like really, he he was like, just go really high fat. And then he okay. said, it's going to make fasting so much easier. Now, the other book because that I Because you can go so much longer. You really can go. Yes. And it really lowers the, the right insulin. Foods. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's huge. So, Danielle, do you use any kind of uh, fasting, like a tracking app or anything? How do you keep track or do you just go with what works? I like using an app. And so for a long time, I used the Life app, but now the Life app isn't working anymore. I know. We're all crying about that. (laughs) Yeah, I found another app that's free. Um. Called, oh, let's tell us, tell us free. Hold on. It's called Sunrise. Like S-U-N-R-I-S-E? Yes. And what yes. I can okay. do is Perfect. if you, if you want to put a link in the, in the interview. I put it in the show notes. Sure. Yeah. I'm oh, gonna great. Yeah. That would be you. awesome. Okay. Perfect. Um, I really like it. Sunrise. Tell us, you know, what are the top features that you like about the app? I'll, I'll, well, one thing that's nice is, so you do your fast, and then also uh-huh. it times your eating window. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, I know that when I started the Facebook group, I was using Life, and I used Life the whole first year of when I started fasting almost four years ago. Love, love, loved it. And so I recommended that to all the people that are in our group. And, of course, like you said, it is no longer. And so people, a lot of us are looking for something to kind of replace it. So, Yeah, um, that one is free, and I really like it. And then it also timed your eating window. Okay, can you track your weight in it too? Do you know or? I don't think so. Okay, all right, that's okay. I was just curious, and uh, a lot of people use different apps for that, anyways. So, um, okay, let's move on. Danielle, can you talk to us about maybe what what is your biggest challenge with intermittent fasting? My biggest challenge is that um, my mind tells me things that that are crazy so for example (laughs) explain (laughs) my my dear (laughs) my my mind will tell me i'll be working on a project at work and then my mind will tell me oh you've got to have a snack because Mm, if you know if, if you have a snack you're going to get more done and your work quality is going to be better and I would say and that's been ingrained in us. Yes, that's know? been ingrained from my upbringing. Um, you know, my 100%. father would always say, you know, you you've got to eat breakfast because you've got to put you know fuel in the tank. But the reality right. is, the best fuel. So I, this is why um, I I do like the learning about the scientific studies around fasting. So in Fast, Mm -hmm. Feast, Repeat, and in Dr. Jason Fung's book, The Obesity Code. Obesity Code. And I think in in a number of your blogs, if you read your articles, Mm -hmm. you talk about the science that the, the brain really does function the best on ketones. And we do have more focus And um, there's more of a propensity to get into a high performance state. Um, Another person who I like to to follow that he talks about, I just blanked on his name, but he wrote, he's the guy who does the primal um, product. He's another proponent of fasting. He wrote some really great books about this is, you know, I have to remind myself that no, the science actually says that um, we're better when we fast. Recently, I was listening to an interview with Mark Hyman, and he said actually everyone should fast at least 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And the fat burning usually occurs after 18 hours. So Uh, if that. 
I cannot shout that loud enough. That is so true. 18 hour mark is absolutely the magical fat burning hour. Yes. Yeah, so I think it was good for me to kind of learn Mark Sisson. Mark Sisson mm-hmm. says that if we're overweight and we switch ourselves over to, so we have two ways that the body gets energy. One is from glucose in the body and we're burning the sugar in our body. That's sugar the, burners. Yep. Yes. That and we've then, eaten from the foods we've eaten. Yes. And then once we switch over to ketosis, then we're going to be burning our body's fat. So and isn't that like so cool? It's so <laughs> that's cool. the coolest thing. And the science but shows. But that's, you're right, where the energy really and the mental clarity and all of that starts to really ramp up. And you can, I don't know about you, but I can absolutely feel a complete difference in my body. Once, you know, once your body shifts from being a sugar burner to a fat burner, it's like a magical thing happens in your body. You really can yes, tell the difference. Yes, and one of the things that I, I'm also in, in recovery, I, I've been clean and sober about 26 years, is Oh, that, congratulations. Thank you. One of our favorite sayings is don't leave five minutes before the miracle. Oh, I love that. That's Isn't amazing. that good for fasting yeah. too? Because a lot, really of times, good. a lot of times like my mind will be like, you got to eat something. You got to eat something because you're going to do this project better. You know, if, if it's a challenging pro, um, project, because right. I normally work in the film industry. I've done movies all over the world. Um, and this year, because of the strikes in the industry, I launched a business consulting business. And my current awesome. client, um, you know, they were they were far behind the last couple of the last people that ran the department, they left a bunch of messes. So the new head of the department and I, we've been fixing everything. And I see. like I said, I listen a lot to Dr. Jason Fung, uh, the obesity mm-hmm. code to the, um, him. to Jen Stevens, um, to different YouTube interviews from Mark Hyman and they all, and Mark Sisson And they all Mm -hmm. will reiterate that the science shows that when we are running on a fat burning um, system, when we're in ketosis, that we are actually more focused and more productive and we do a better job. Now, there's been a number of times that I've been seduced by my mind and I end up snacking. And where I (laughs) end up- which is okay, but I have to tell you that from experimenting, I have found that I always end up having less energy and not doing as well. So it's when really you, not when true. you snack, you mean, right? When yes. you snack, you have, yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. And I think most people who have been fasting for a while will also agree. I mean, it, it's just incredible, but you're right. It does take some time to get to that level. Like we were talking about before we actually pushed record, you know, and I love your, what was the saying again, the don't quit five minutes before the miracle habits. Yes. No, no, if I said that just right, but yes, yeah. usually I'll get really, really hungry. Okay. okay. And then that's when my mind is like, you've got to eat. And, but what I've learned is one of my biggest tools, and I know you've talked about this too, is sparkling water. Yes, it's, it's, it's the lifesaver for me. Yes, yeah, sparkling water um, yep. and plain black Just, coffee, but especially yep. sparkling water is a game mm-hmm. changer. And if I just- uh, It really is. What, what brand do you like? Do you, I use, you use the plain, right? So it doesn't break your fast, right? Yes. I do the clean fasting, the gin Stevens that I do yep. all unflavored drinks. Uh, dur- so, during let's, the fast. so during my yeah, let's, window. Let's talk about that. Um, so what, what do you, so clean fast. Awesome. Uh, what drinks do you enjoy during your fasting windows then? I do black coffee. And, um, 
And then I do Pellegrino sparkling okay. water. And I just. Yeah, that's a great brand. And I find that I could either get like, because I drink like six small bottles a day. So Oh, okay. I drink a yeah. lot. <laughs> um, so so I find that with Pellegrino in, in Los Angeles, I could get like a 24 pack from Costco at a really mm-hmm. good price. And, or I oh, can get great. it off Amazon. Yeah. I, I think, think I found me- a better deal on that on Amazon too, uh, for Pellegrino. We, I mean, we have it in the stores here, but ours in Michigan around here, it's easier for me. I usually just stick to the plain LaCroix. It's the blue, you know, package it says innocent on it. Um, I also that, like, that's uh, great too. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. So, um, yeah, you're right. That is my number one tip when people are saying, okay, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm starving. Should I eat? Should I, you know, break my fast? I'm like, before you do it, I just have this trick where, like you said, I just head out, I grab a 12 ounce sparkling mineral water plane and I drink that over the next 20 to 30 minutes. And if after 30 minutes, I am still hungry, which normally I'm not, but if I am, then I do listen to my body and I will go get, you know, a snack of some sort. But nine times out of 10, honestly, it does the trick, like you said, and I am totally satisfied and I'm like, I wasn't really hungry. So you're, it's a mind thing for sure, but that does help. I think it's the carbonation. It does something kind of magical in your stomach. <laughs> yes. And it also helps if like, after I have vitamins if my stomach is feels a li- if i get those like sour stomach the sparkling water oh yeah that. it settles it it's, i've heard that before too um yeah from some people in our the facebook group they've said that if you kind of get that nauseous feeling it, it's a great way to settle that down um, yes, do you but- use any electrolyte supplements at all yes fasting I use the reset. What do you use? It's called reset. And it's been a game changer because I tried like all those things where where you make your own and you buy the um, no salt and you make your own electrolyte drinks. I've tried various. Sure. Yeah. There's another one that people love that's really expensive. Um. And I forgot the name of it that people love it. So I, it's, is it Element? Because yes, I really do Element. like that one. And I found oh, okay. Element, yeah, yeah, to be kind of expensive. Is re- Reset cheaper? Is Reset cheaper? Yes. And oh, they're capsules. And, and is it just our, oh, they're capsules. Okay. Good to know. I'm going to check that out. Um, yeah. Very cool. And um, yeah. so that's been a game changer. Um And the other thing I want to say, when my mind is telling me to snack, and it's not necessarily Mm -hmm. that, um, it, sometimes it's hunger and I'll think about like how Jason Fung says, you're going to have waves of hunger, but just hang in there because it will pass. So I'm also a yoga and meditation teacher. So sometimes when I practice is, um, I'll remember, you know, the studies that I read in the obesity code and in Jen Stevens mm-hmm. book. And then sometimes I'll just put my hands on my chest and just take a deep breath. And I'll say, it's safe and comfortable for me to stay on my fast. Yeah, absolutely. This, I love it's, that. It's going to pass. Just set a timer for 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And drink sparkling wow. water and just, you know, you're going to have, I'm going to have like five, 10 minutes where I'm struggling with concentrating. My mind's going to tell me a snack will make it better. But my experience has shown me over and over again, if I stick to my fast, it's going to be better, especially if I'm looking to lose weight. Because according right, to right. this page is so crazy and I have it saved and I wanted to share it with you in this interview. Sure. Sure. So in the obesity code, I, I have an MBA. I'm a bit of an academic. So I know this is kind of a geeky <laughs> thing that I'm bringing up 
you know, a page. Oh, I love geeky things. It's a teacher in me. (laughs) Me too. Me too. So hold on. I think I have a page number for you. Okay. This is again in the obesity code by Jason. This is in the obesity code later. I'll say I I love that page because I saved it, but it doesn't have a page number. Um, It says for the first five days, weight loss averages 1.9 pounds or 0.9 kilograms. So sometimes (laughs) just reading that (laughs) keeps me on track because that's good. I usually in the first 10, sometimes I could lose like up to like three pounds. Now this is for fasting from 24 to 36 hours. Anyone who's going to do like 24 to 36 hours, I really recommend prior to doing, I would say at least one to three days of very high fat meals. So one thing I'll do is yeah, I, sometimes I think that's I'll, great. I'll make like coconut cream ice cream. That's like pretty much okay. all fat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just, I think I saw your recipe for that. You yeah, you just send just, us that. Yeah, um, you and just, I'll add that to my my recipe website. We'll give you the we'll write your name on there, Danielle, and add it to the website. So yeah, go ahead. So like. Um, Having coconut cream ice cream is fantastic. It's just like you take two cans of coconut cream and you mix in. I usually do like organic monk fruit. Um, Mm, Then I'll throw in some vanilla. That's an amazing way to have a very high fat meal that just like gets rid of hunger. It's so satisfying. Like I said, if you love bacon, having an entire package of bacon, ribeye <laughs> steak with butter. I can't also pairing it with like Bernays sauce is fabulous because Bernays sauce is oh, just I... made with, um, it's just made with egg yolks and like um, uh, vinegar and tarragon. That's, you know, putting a ton of butter on a ribeye steak. Have you uh, ever tried the Kerrygold garlic and herb butter? No, I haven't. Oh, it's it, okay. You gotta. I actually just uh, made a post or something about it, but it will change everything you eat into something magical. So it's Kerrygold's a pretty popular brand, but yeah, I love the that garlic and herb is is not sold everywhere, but most places. Um, you you gotta get it and add it to your steak. And then report back to me. You you're gonna love it. So and I didn't I want to do, interrupt, but you, you gotta know about that. Emphasize also, you know, incorporating a lot of vegetables, especially like the low carb Absolutely. vegetables. Um, those mm-hmm. are really satiating too. So when I do those yeah, three it, days of preparing for a fast, um, if I'm coming mm-hmm. off like days of maybe the holidays or maybe a special occasion where I had a lot of sugar and my insulin is very high, my blood sugar is high. I may take a day and say, I'm only going to do maybe 12 hours of fasting um, or 16 hours of fasting, allow myself to just have a lot of low carb vegetables, the green vegetables, and then very high fat meals. So like my first day will just be like, let's just get off the sugar. Let's just detox off the sugar. Mm -hmm. Then I'll, then I'll be like, okay, day one, just have high, high fat, very low carb, no carb meals, only get my carbs from vegetables. Another thing that will help is pink Himalayan salt. Oh, love that. Yeah, it's if, good I, to... if I yep. have very low energy, just have some salt. Mm-hmm. Even though my mind My is husband telling... swears by that. He does. Even he though my mind it. is telling me you need sugar mm-hmm. 
actually the salt and the fat will actually end up really satisfying me and helping me detox off the sugar. Oh, then great, I'll go, great tip. You know, yeah. Then I'll work up to that 24 hour fasting, usually in 24, combining um, a very high fat ketogenic diet with mm -hmm. 24 hours. I'll usually lose, you know, at least one pound a day. Wow. Yeah. I do think that there is some definite uh, power in that. And so when you talk about the low carb vegetables, which ones are your favorite? I know I have my favorites, but what are your go-tos? Um, I love doing spinach. Mm -hmm. um, I love Brussels sprouts. Love and Brussels because sprouts. we're doing high fat, you know, you I could just toss them in like a bunch of olive oil and Add butter. your bacon to those. Add your bacon to the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Add your bacon yummy. to the Brussels sprouts, <laughs> exactly. I love cucumbers. I'm oh, a big yes. fan of doing like a, you know, salad that's with cucumber, a chopped salad with cucumber, tomatoes, and like bell peppers and oh, doing wow. like a nice. Mediterranean type dressing, adding some parsley and then have like a porterhouse or like a ribeye steak and then putting tons of butter on it. Completely delicious. Oh. Sounds that sounds so good. Oh, that you have given us so many awesome tips. Thank you so much. So I know that you, I absolutely know, especially because of the uh, the fitness magazine posts that you put out there, which were incredible. But tell us a little bit more about your exercise routine. What are your favorite ways to stay active? I know you mentioned walking. Go ahead, Danielle. Yeah. So walking. I do walking for about an. I try to do like an hour a day and get out in the sun, especially because, mm -hmm. you know, cortisol. So stress management is part of my fitness program, too, because cortisol um, raises the blood sugar in the body. So just stress, yep. you know, we're stressed out. Our cortisol goes up and that raises our blood sugar. So an idea that came out of the obesity code, which was a game changer for me, is he says that long-term weight loss and ultimately getting to our goal weight. Because remember, I tried everything. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. Um, <laughs> we all did, yeah. Atkins. I know. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones I've tried. Um, I've done like... Slim, I did slim fast back in the day, you know, the, the smoothie diets, the, you know, I did one that was called fat loss for idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was. I yeah, guess. tons of different things. I was things. the one, the idiot doing it, but because <laughs> it didn't work. But And also, you know, I mean, you and I, we like measuring, we like tracking, Absolutely. you know, I really, I really followed and, and also doing kind of that bodybuilding type diet. I did that. Um, but I couldn't get to the goal weight. And I was always like, what? It, it, it almost felt What's like missing. Yeah, yeah. Like I would get to a certain ceiling and I couldn't break through. And yeah, I was like, that's, I, I totally understand. That's exactly how I felt too. I mean, I just yeah. couldn't believe it was, I mean, game changer is the easiest phrase to describe it because, um, especially like you said, we're almost 50. So we, you know, I think I had almost gotten to the point where I'd resigned myself to the fact, like I've had two kids, my body is just not going to go back. And, and then it was just amazing to be able to experience, you know, the kind of results with intermittent fasting. And it's like, wow. So, so do you, um, so, exercise? I'm going to think, I think I know the answer to this, but I'm assuming so I'm you gonna exercise. Get, I'm going to make one more point that will then oh, take sure. me back to exercise. Okay. Sure. Jason Fung says that weight loss is basically a two-step strategy. So one of the steps is monitoring what we eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he says that he says what we want to stick to is whole foods, low carb diet. 
Now, Jen Stevens does say she does better on a higher carb as long as she's not having processed carbs. Correct. So we have Correct. to experiment. So he, oh, yeah. but I'm going to go with what Jason Fung says, because this is what's worked for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is he sure. says a low carb diet. So he says what we're eating impacts our weight loss. But then he says, the other thing is we need to lower our body's set weight because our body right. has a set weight and what it determines does. the body's set weight is insulin resistance. And mm-hmm. he says how we um, how we get rid of insulin resistance is through fasting. Because he says all macronutrients, there's three macronutrients, right? We have fat, protein, and carbs. He says okay. they're all going to increase um, insulin to a certain degree. Of course, fat has the lowest insulin response in our body. So that's why Right. what insulin does is it determines our um, body set weight and it also mm-hmm. gives us hunger. So that's why he says we want to do two things. We want to do fasting. He recommends for, for long-term weight loss, for breaking down that insulin resistance, he recommends 24 to 36 hour fast. Mm-hmm. And then he says, yeah, what I, I, think- I mean, this is what's in the book and I wanted to share this with you. Now, the other thing he says increases, now I think he says blood sugar is he says it's important to manage stress. To balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So then we go into yeah. the world of cortisol. Okay. So there's right. ex- now going into my exercise plan because <laughs> my exercise plan <laughs> is fo- focused on because I'm really targeting the person who's listening to this podcast who wants to lose weight and they're like Absolutely. us that they've tried everything, everything. and especially <laughs> for the woman the women like us who are over forty five. And they say, Mm -hmm. geez, you know, when I was in my 20s, I used to be able to join Weight Watchers and in a month I would be goal weight and I could move on, you know, or I could. Those were the days, but let's, let's get them back in the, in that bikini, Danielle. So go Uh, ahead. (laughs) So now what, this is what I found over 45 works is combining fasting with a low carb diet and doing exercise that's geared towards one lowering cortisol. So that's why I walk. I love running. Yep. And I used to in my twenties. Me too. 30s, Another thing we have in common. I used to love to run. I would get that runner's high, but they mm-hmm. say that unfortunately, um, running does increase cortisol in the body. It does. It does. And walking gets rid of cortisol. So low impact aerobic activity, biking and walking, because how we get rid of cortisol in the body is through, we have to move to get it out of the body. We do. Low impact exercise. Another one that's good is yoga is great for releasing cortisol out of the body. All right, so we're going to have to have a separate podcast episode on that because my husband loves yoga. I know you said you're a yoga instructor. I, Danielle, I am not kidding you. He teases me all the time. I am the least flexible person on the planet. So I I, I have to find a way to start liking yoga. So that's going to be uh, your challenge to help me with that, okay? <laughs> yes, and it can happen, you know. That's another story. I know I want to get to my, so I, the other thing that gobbles up, it literally gobbles up the sugar out of the body is weight training. hundred mm, percent. So weight training does two things. One, it increases muscle in the body mm-hmm. and the more muscle we have, the more calories we burn. So that's the more efficient our metabolism is. 
Yes, so I do weight training because um, like I said, it gets rid of the sugar in the body. And if we weight train, we're going to get into ketosis faster. Absolutely. Yeah. I, and it's incredible. And the other yeah, thing the, the is difference that, is huge. The difference is huge. And when we fast, it increases something called human growth hormone. Mm-hmm. So we're yep. once when we do these fasted workouts, we're going to put on more muscle faster because we're fasting. So I do recommend, you know, um, doing what the walking working out fasted. Yes, working out fasted because it's going to um, get me those benefits of fasting, autophagy, um, fat burning. And also, like I said, getting rid of the cortisol. Um, so that's why I, another thing I want to say that's part of my program is I do practice um, meditation also. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, meditation awesome. and prayer are great ways yeah. to reduce stress. And I mean, Absolutely. I'm someone who kind of... <laughs> Loves everybody. I was oh, raised. Me too. <laughs> I just, you know, like I'm. A lot of times, the the Buddhist. If you go to a most Buddhist monks, and you say that you love <laughs> Jesus, they'll say, "Oh yeah," because he goes. Uh, they'll say, according to the Buddhists, because uh, the Buddhists believe that you know, new Buddhas uh, occur throughout history. So there's like the Tara Buddha, who was a woman Buddha. There, there's various Buddhas that have come through history. How I practice my spirituality is I'm very inclusive. So sometimes, I mean, I got to tell you, when you're trying to fast, okay, <laughs> and, and being at goal weight, like it increases my sensitivity. So... I, I, right. I so can I, I ask pray. what your, how, how tall are you, Danielle? I'm five feet. I think sometimes I'm, I wanted to mention that because, um, a lot of times women who are not quite as tall, they feel like they struggle more with the weight loss and, and reaching their goal weight. And I think that you're just an incredible role model, um, to share and to show that women, of all ages and sizes and shapes, you know, how big of a difference or a game changer intermittent fasting really can be for them. Yeah. Give them hope. Yes. So, I mean, I saw your pictures, uh, for, for, was it hers? That's the magazine. I'm going to have you send me all the info so I can put it in the show yes. notes. But, yes. Um, I had a it, major. Yeah. You, you looked incredible. At 48. At 48 years old. I know. Like you don't, you don't look 48. I'm just saying. I mean, your Thank skin you. well, is, I mean, great. It's, yeah, just, so, it's, it's very exciting. So, Thank you so much. And, you know, so like I said, that's also in, in the Obesity Code. Jason Fung does recommend doing a meditation practice. And there's many out there. You know, if someone is Christian, there's Christian meditations and there's great things to look up, like the palms are great. I love reading those. Mm-hmm. There's uh, love and kindness meditations. I like doing, a, you know, mantra meditation where I'll, for a while I did TM meditation is great. Now that I'm a yoga and meditation teacher, I've created my own mantra that works and really that mindfulness awesome. of, you know, bringing myself into the present moment and reminding myself it's safe and comfortable for me to, you know, get to my goal weight. It's safe and comfortable for me to practice fasting. Like, you know, yes, there's all this content and, and, information out there telling us to have three meals and two snacks. But the reality is that fasting has been around for much longer than 
the breakfast idea and three snacks a day. And the science supports fasting. It does. And you're right. I think in order to be successful, there's so much power in what you said about, you know, wrapping our mind around it and getting our mind healthy uh, to be able to move forward successfully through this intermittent fasting journey. So, well, Danielle, we are almost ready to wrap things up. So I would love if you would leave our audience with your shiniest gem. So what is your very, very best intermittent fasting tip for success? You've given us so many, but if you could choose just one gem, what would you like to leave us with today? Okay, this is not an original one, but I'm going to say it again. It's okay. Um, Is hunger is not an emergency. So the hunger will pass- And the results will be worth it. And it's like a muscle, you know, it's like a muscle. So it'll get easier and easier over time. So just trust the process. Fabulous gem, fabulous tip. Danielle, you have been a total superstar and it's going to take me forever to edit this episode because I want to make sure I write down every awesome gem that you gave to our audience today. Um, You are a rock star. I am so blessed to have met you through the the power of the internet and um, getting to know you better today and finding out how much we really have in common, even though we live on opposite sides of the country. Um, I just can't thank you enough for sharing your wisdom and um, your beauty and um, all of your awesome tips with us. So thank you so, so much, Danielle. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, you've been amazing. So thank you. Hey, thank you so much for choosing to spend part of your day listening to this episode of the Intermittent Fasting Gems with Jen podcast. If you think these tips could help a friend or a family member, please consider sharing this episode with them. And if you really enjoyed the show, taking a minute or two to leave a positive review would be so appreciated. Tune in for new 15 to 25 minute episodes released on the 10th, 20th, and 30th of each month. Episodes will feature solo shows filled with IF hacks that have worked for me, as well as episodes where I get to chat with fun folks of all ages who've experienced incredible success with intermittent fasting. If you have questions or want more unique intermittent fasting health and weight loss tips, tricks, and recipes, please visit my website and blog at SoWhatIfWithJen.com. Finally, we'd love to welcome you into our free intermittent fasting Facebook support group, So What If With Jen. Find all of these links in the show notes below. And as always, I hope you spend your day loving without fear and laughing until your cheeks hurt.